Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be having a look at Steam Boiler. Now this is a, a block that's fairly recently been added to Railcraft and what it will allow you to do is produce a lot of steam in one place that you can then pump around and drive some new engines off of. Um, and it's it's extremely useful and an interesting block. Uh, another one of these multi-block machines, and I'm really liking all the the multi-block machines that Redcraft is added. Yeah, it just adds an extra extra element. Uh, and we've got three blocks here. Uh, the one on the left is a firebox. Uh, to the right of it is a low-pressure tank, and then we have a high-pressure tank. So. As you can see, by the virtue of the fact that we've got two different types of tank we can use, um, we'll be able to put these together in lots of interesting ways. Now, to make them, the firebox itself, um, you use a fire charge in the middle, which I think is gunpowder, blaze powder, and redstone, is it? Gunpowder, coal, and blaze powder. That gives you three fire charges. Um, we have a furnace underneath that and then bricks around it. That gives you your firebox and then your low pressure boiler is two iron plates and your high pressure boiler is two steel plates. And you can make them from as small as this one here and if I were to make a, a high pressure version of that uh, we basically have uh, an input for water. This needs to be kept full of water uh, for it to work. If it doesn't have enough water in then it's basically going to stop producing steam and if you put water into a hot boiler there's a good chance it's going to explode on you so be careful with that. Um, make sure you've always got an adequate supply of water. So let's just get some uh, some water cans here. Just so that we can get this going. We also need some fuel. Now this will take charcoal, it will take coke coal. Uh, let's use some coke coal in here. And these here will also, let's grab some more just to show you, these will accept fuel as well and it will automatically feed from these three slots into the main uh, slot there. And as it does so you will see the temperatures gradually going to go up. It's going to go up quite quickly with this small boiler. Um, once it starts getting over 100 degrees C, you'll start producing steam. And that steam you can use to drive uh, engines, turbines, or whatever. Now, this uh, small, this low pressure boiler, each cube of uh, low pressure boiler will produce, um, I think it's ten steam a tick and each high pressure boiler will produce twenty steam a tick. Now that is equivalent if you compare that with the engines that you can drive off of it. Each cube of low pressure boiler is effectively two Minecraft joules a tick and double that for the high pressure boiler so that's four Minecraft joules a tick. So you can see uh, roughly how much you can drive off of one of these now this single boiler here will run a commercial steam engine which I believe will output four Minecraft joules a tick um, I haven't really covered the commercial and the industrial engines yet um, but you can either pipe into these or you can actually it will in fact I wonder if you can turn it with that no you you can actually uh, connect them directly onto the tank it doesn't have to be the tank. Um, so there's a few ways of moving it around. Otherwise waterproof pipes will do the job for you. Um, the 2x2 two two version of the boiler, and this is low pressure tanks as well, uh, you basically you need four fire boxes on the bottom and then you can have either 8 or 12 tanks. Now you can see there it will work perfectly well with, with 8 tanks if I wanted to add the other layer 
as you can see you can tell when the tank is working and when it's not if I wanted to mix in some high pressure boiler with a low pressure boiler then obviously that isn't going to work now the very largest version here uh, we have a 3x3 three three base and actually I should show you how much steam this is going to hold so if we just look at that briefly that's uh, that's 8 cubes of low pressure boiler so that's going to be uh, 16 minecraft joules a tick which is effectively I want to say 2 industrial steam engines which is interesting to note now this one here is a lot bigger this is the largest boiler that you can make at the moment um, and this is effectively with a low pressure version that's 36 so that's 72 minecraft joules tick it's, uh, this will support as far as engines go now you can make it as low as too high and as high as four high so right there that's the smallest three by three will go uh, and then obviously you can just keep adding layers on top of that as you need them and it will work so there's the steam boiler guys um, extremely useful um, as we can see here well if you uh, accidentally put a block like that on it you can see it's uh, it's going to spit everything out now we're using up water at quite a rate of knots we've used up all of that already uh, temperature is quite high here I don't really want to uh, want to blow one up for you but maybe I'll, uh, I'll stop the video briefly and come back and we'll see if we can blow this up ok welcome back um, now I've left this going for a little while we're up to a thousand degrees C here um, but we've still got an awful lot of water going so what I did was I put some uh, some cold coke in here and set this one running and it's right up in, into the red at the moment so we're going to try and see what happens when we put some water in and I'm a bit worried because I'm told these things explode uh, if you put water in a hot boiler so we'll do that and just show you basically what not to do now we are well up in the red so I'm assuming that this is is kind of enough to blow us up and it is now that's a big crater very big crater um, how not to fill your boiler it's taken out half of the other boiler there this one is strangely okay um, possibly because this is high pressure I don't know maybe the high pressure boilers have a bigger blast resistance um, but yeah you don't want to fill up uh, a hot tank definitely not um, anyway that's the steam boiler guys I hope you found that interesting and a little bit mm, entertaining let's say um, you now know how to blow up a boiler useful information we'll see you next time so please follow me uh, on twitch and on twitter and subscribe above and that way you will get told when i produce new videos and go live on uh, on my live stream thanks for watching